My name is Jeff Morgan. I'm from Dallas, Texas. I am going to continue to read the third affidavit in support of Mr. Cody Neal Taylor in his lawsuit against Erica Duckworth and uh, Lee Piaster, I think her name is. I know that Erica Duckworth was the one that I focused on when I interviewed Mr. Taylor. But another sworn affidavit. A state of Texas, County Travis, before me, the undersigned authority in and for the state of Texas, on this day personally appeared Taryn Francois Champagne, who after being by me duly sworn stated under the oath under oath my name is Taryn Francois Champagne and I am of sound mind over the age of 18 years old and competent to give this affidavit and anybody who knows that Taryn Champagne who Taryn Champagne is he is also who we call the FOIA God of the state of Texas he has given great instruction on how we can do freedom of information requests and make sure that our government is responsible to its people accountable to its people after all, they are our representatives. We have the right to know what business they are doing on our behalf. Taryn, thank you so much for the fights that you have waged, for the education that you've given us, and thank you for this affidavit, which I'm going to continue to read here. Taryn says this, I am a veteran of the United States Army, having served honorably for five years in the infantry as a non-commissioned officer, where I was entrusted with the safety and welfare of men. As a service member, I swore an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. I am also a father of a 10-year-old boy and have been through the hellish nightmare that is the family court system in the state of Texas. Since 2017, I have actively advocated through reform of the broken Texas Family Code based on my own experiences. In this time, I have learned much about how the system is operated, but what can only be described as shysters. And I love that term because I believe he hits it on his head, shysters. Perhaps a more accurate term would be criminals. But regardless, this label includes the politicians themselves, judges, attorneys, mental health professional, other court-related staff, and the regulatory bodies that govern them. This past session, 2023, I had the pleasure of meeting fellow advocate Cody Taylor. Mr. Taylor is a devoted father who has worked tirelessly to be in his daughter's life. The reason he has had to fight so hard is that the current system is incredibly biased against fathers. This assertion is not baseless as data from the Office of the Attorney General shows that in over 90% of the cases in Texas, the father is the non-custodial parent. It's discrimination. It's gender discrimination against men. Happens to women too, but it is gender discrimination largely carried out against fathers. During the 2023 legislative session, Mr. Taylor helped with a drafting of laws that would have helped protect children and families from the malicious actions of the alleged professionals who often make baseless claims in reports provided to the courts these actions have extreme consequences that have lifelong detrimental effects not only on the child but their extended family along with friends. My own son has suffered the loss of a friend who has been separated from his father based on the malfeasance of an evil psych psychologist. When a professional makes these baseless claims and causes harms to people, they should be held accountable for their actions. Currently, the behavioral Health Executive Council, along with many other governing boards for professionals, do nothing to police their own. Countless complaints are filed by laymen who see them dismissed. As the governing bodies do nothing, the only cause of action left to individuals such as Mr. Taylor is to use their right, as outlined in the First Amendment of our Constitution, to educate and warn the public about the abuses of the family courts. Attempts to curtail free speech is a perfect example of why free speech is needed. Mr. Taylor should not be forced to have to defend what is his God-given right. Much like myself and countless other family court reform advocates, Mr. Taylor has identified something wrong and is attempting to fix it. Any effort made to stop him is indicative of the corruption plaguing the family courts. These are my statements and solely reflect my own personal opinions and observations. I have read the above statement consisting of one page, which is based on my personal knowledge, and it is a true and correct statement signed by Taryn Francois Champagne. And this was signed on September the 5th, 2023, in front of Rachel Starks, a notary public for the state of Texas, 
Her commission expires in October of 2025. Her notary ID is also provided. So we now have three affidavits that have been given on behalf of Mr. Cody Taylor. There would have been more. In fact, there is one more. There is one more that I'll go over. But there would have been more than these four had we had more time to prepare. There were many people that wanted to write additional affidavits, just did not have time to write them all out in support of Mr. Taylor. But I will be reading one more affidavit before closing up this case. Thank you.